Well, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Well, as we all know on the internet, that's where you're going to get the trolls. That's where the trolls exist. They exist on the internet. And all day, especially if you're in the public eye all the time, even just doing something simple as the news, or if you're an artist, I can only imagine what an artist gets, okay? They're trying to drag you down all day, saying, getting things, saying things at you to get you aggravated and, you know, just to get you pissed off. And sometimes they get a reaction like they did out of French Montana. So some girl tweeted French Montana the other day. And she basically wrote him and said, the fact that French Montana thinks anyone cares about him. Well, French Montana clapped back and he said, you musty, crusty, dusty ass ho with them nappy ass poetic justice braids. Uh, take your cum drinking dick banging ass somewhere and be humble. Now, that that pissed off especially it would have pissed off the feminists the, the pr proud black women because I, I don't blame them you know when he said them nappy ass poetic justice braids mm, yeah, that's kind of a fine line you know so then he got dragged on twitter you know, he said that people said uh french montana a non-black man who loves black culture i mean he is he is from africa okay so he's just he just doesn't look black but he is and he says uh makes money off the culture and hates black people and he dates white women who want to be black i guess they're talking about the kardashians said someone else said fun fact french montana isn't black rips off black culture while blasting black women uh then someone says french montana thinks calling someone's hair nappy is a drag i don't think so either i think women are beautiful of all uh you know i i i i disagree with it and i i, I understand he was mad but like Women of all colors, shapes, looks, you gotta, they're all beautiful. They're all beautiful in their own ways, you know? There's so many beautiful women out here of so many different looks, you know? Where it's it's amazing, you know? And that, but you know, he said he literally only said that because she was black, probably. And a, a true, someone said, a true tragedy here is the fact that French Montana searches his own name humble yourself because that's true the girl didn't at him so he searches his own name and looks for hate see if you look for hate that's a little weird i'm gonna be honest so uh anyways french montana had some cleaning up to do okay so on his twitter today um you know because you know this was uh, a bad look okay so it said uh it basically said how do people get mad at you for dragging somebody that tried to drag you but you looked for the hate then someone said, my son is black and I was born in Africa. I lived there for 13 years. I ain't no punching bag. I don't discriminate. I don't uh, don't come here for me. Then uh, someone, then what else did he said? My mother is an African queen and I was married to a beautiful black queen. And I, all I did was defend myself. If I offended anybody, I apologize. But this is a perfect example of even when you're defending yourself and minding your own business, social media will drag you th your name through the mud. But another note, stay awoke. I, I don't like it when people say that stay woke thing. I mean, you should stay woke, but it's kind of like with certain people, it's like a cop out. Now, I like French Montana. I like his hustle. I'm not hating on it anyway. I think he misstepped. I think he was mad and wanted to uh, piss this girl off. And, you know, he succeeded. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he even had to call into the breakfast club this morning uh, and basically say, you know, Oh, I never said nothing to all black ladies. I know, you know but they but just you offended. Know, they took offense this morning. I don't know if you know, but you're the number one trending topic. Hey, hey, let me tell you something, Charlotte, man. I'm, I'm, like, I'm not from the era where anybody can say something to you and know, say nothing back. You know what I mean? And I'm, you know what I mean? Like, caring about what the people are going to say. And that's true because, like, back then, people used to, you know, back in our, you know, like, I'm talking, like, around 2007, 2008, you know, around that time. You know, people can just tell you how they felt like that. Now, with social media... You know, you're getting it for before. You just used to get it from publications. Now you get it from everywhere. You know, fans, people just that want to piss you off. I get it too. You know, everybody gets it. You know, but he gets it on another level. So, uh, anyways, what do you guys think about this? I mean, I know he's doing his cleanup thing right now, as he should. I don't think he really feels that way. Um, but you know, anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know. Peace.